for the Tampa Bay Rays. It's going to be their big right-hander, Tyler Glass, now making his 11th start of the season. ERA 2.90, the 87 strikeouts we talked about in the open. That is good for fourth in Major League Baseball. Done all of that in 62 innings of work. And Tyler Glass now all set to go to work here against Whit Merrifield. And there's a swing and a miss. Comes back with that breaker. Nicely done. Yeah, you, you could see that one coming. After he spiked that first one, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this thing right. Look how long that stays in the zone, right about thigh high. And by the time that the swing is complete, that ball right down there on the dirt, Merrifield empty. Andrew Benintendi. He shoots it into left center field. Phillips on the run, on the run, on the run, and he got there! Phillips runs it down in left center field. Great acceleration by Brett Phillips and the backhanded grab. Boy, stamp that one with a star. As the Royals send left-hander Mike Miner to the mound. So let's see how he does today. He's got to mix him up and keep him down. Use the defense. Yandy Diaz. All speed pitches up and a 2-2 count. Good movement on a changeup. That pitch got knocked around in Miner's last start, but he threw a beauty to Diaz, and there are two down. Blue KC pitch tracks will show you the movement on that changeup away from the right hander. That's exactly what that pitch is designed to do. Excellent job. Austin Meadows with two down. He played in left field last night. He's the DH tonight. High fastball. Meadows strikes out. Miner strikes out two. And down go the Rays in order in the first. Brandon Lau, three and two. And a strikeout, and that's Miner's third against the last four batters. Joey Wendell, lefty-lefty matchup. Fastball. Well, Mike Miner has struck out four already. And there are two down in the second inning. He blew it by him at 92. He's so good with his off-speed pitches, Mike Miner is, that he gets the hitter thinking that he's going to get a breaking ball. And then it's by the time he sees it, it's too late to react. Two on, two out to Mike Zanino, who is a strikeout candidate. And Zanino strikes out. So Miner gets away with a couple of mistakes and then strikes out Zanino with a breaking ball. And Miner strikes out three in the second. Mondesi leading off the third. Mondesi out on strikes. Strikeout number three. Dyson chops it toward the middle. This is Wendell, and they got it. Joey Wendell plays shortstop tonight. That is not an easy play. Listen, Dwayne, uh, Dyson runs. I, I, I mean, is there anybody faster in the game? Not, not many, if there is. Look how quickly he's got to get rid of it, and look how close it is. Love and fire, and how about Diaz? Two and one, the count to Nicky Lopez. Ground ball. Diaz to glass now. Nice play done. Well, some good defense here on display. Now Joey Wendell. There you go. Santana dives and Miner gets to the bag. One step in front of Wendell. I thought that was going to be a double play ball, but it, he, he put that in a pretty good spot. Nice play by Santana. And Carlos is going to talk to Nicky Lopez. They're having a conversation right now, wide at first, and they might, Carlos might be asking Nicky, should I have let that go to you? Exactly. And typically, you know, now that Nicky's back over there again, there'll be a conversation, even a reminder in game. As Nicky Lopez a holler at Santana and saying, hey, anything soft hit, I got it. I'm over here. Well, we have another situation here in the fourth for Mike Zanino. Two outs. Brasso's at second. And that's a liner with a base hit into left. Brasso's going to turn third. The throw will not be in time, and the Rays take the lead. Brasso scores from second as Zanino comes through to make it 1-0. Well, here it is, Dwayne. This ball just kind of stays middle in. Mike Zanino, it's up around the belt. And he's able to fire on it right there, line it, get it into the hole, and then here comes Mike Brasso. That throw by Benintendi, he gives a good effort, but Brasso too quick. Rays take the lead. Zanino's fired up, and it's about time. At bat with Diaz. Two and two. Ooh. Down goes Yandy Diaz. Meadows takes his time, digging back in against the white line, deep in the batter's box. Fastball struck him out. A Rosa Reina started to run and stopped, and that was a good choice because that would have been a strikeout, throwout, double play. Would have been great. Beautiful spot right on the outside where Salvi was sitting. Mike Miner, he looks good. Margo has an infield single, and he's grounded out to first. Rosa Reina runs, and he is out. Oh, beautiful throw. Man, how about that pop time? From the time Salvador Perez catches it in his glove till the time the ball gets down there to second base, 
to the fielder's glove, 1.8 seconds. He's one of the best. A good time is 2 0. Lopez, nine strikeouts in this game for Tyler Glass now. And make it 10. Breaking ball in the dirt. Zanino down to first. De Lopez is out. 2 3 to complete the strikeout on the breaking ball. And that's 10 strikeouts. For glass now. Well, he went back to that curveball. How about that? He gets the swing on the breaking ball that bounces in front of the plate. That's how deceptive that pitch can be. Just now with 98 pitches so far. It's a 2 2 runner goes. Swing and a miss. Fastball. He fired that one right by him. Santana's is out of there on strikes. He is not going to get the opportunity to close this one out, but I'll tell you, he did his job. Well, eight innings. Of shutout baseball for Tyler Glass now. We've got JP Fireisen taking them out here to try to finish this one off. See if Benny can start it off. Just get on base. Base runner. Well hit. Left field. Not Did clear. He? Meyer. It is gone. Oh. <laughs> Catch that one. Ben Attendi finally got it to a spot where there was no center fielder. This young man can go to opposite field. Yeah, he says, catch that one. They've been robbing him twice in this series here. And there was the first off-speed pitch, and it's really a fat changeup right in the middle. He got it. You could tell right on contact. He's saying that ball has a good carry. Plus, he got some backspin on it, cash in the other dugout going, ah, oh, rat. Tyler Walls can handle the bat. The young infielder, Kansas City expecting the bunt. And no bunt, a high fly ball back into deep center. Dyson will look up and make the catch on the track. A tag. Kiermaier's going to go to third. Well, it's a sacrifice, but it gets the runner over, and that's the main thing. That's the bottom line. Taylor Walls put a very good swing on that hanging changeup by Zuber. Gave it a ride. It's going to end up a little bit short, but it's going to get Kiermaier over to third. He was actually rounding third, thinking maybe if something went awry. And Walls gets some congratulations by all of his teammates. So with Kiermaier at third, Meadows do. They're going to send him to first base. They'll wave him down there on the intentional pass. And Will Margot is going to be the hitter. And a ground ball in the right. Base hit. Rays win it. Kiermaier crosses the plate. Manuel Margot right through the open right side of the infield between first and second. And the Rays win this one in 10. It's a 2-1 to one final.